Hey you guys, <laughs> I'm sitting here with Aspen. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because I just did something that scares the shit out of me and I wanted to share about it here. I wanted to tell all of you guys about it because I'm very excited, but also I feel like I just need to talk. I need to kind of talk it out. So I had shared a post a couple of weeks ago that I was doing a consult for a TED Talk. Um, this is something that I have always really wanted to do, but has been, you know, it's just one of those things that's been terrifying for me. Um, even though I feel like I have this message, I have this thing, um, not a thing, but I have this kind of um, program and a, a perspective on health that I want to share about and, and also a perspective on, you know, mindset and, and motivation. And it's sort of like this really big program that I, you know, I've been trying to put into words and trying to explain and everything like that. Hey, Shana, how's it going? And, you know, it's something that I think is so interesting when we have our, our, our life's work, when we have something that we really want to put out in the world, it can be um, so obvious and clear within us, but then when it comes to actually speaking about it and sharing about it in a way that connects with people and in a way that's really concisive and under, you know, that people get and it really hits home for them, that can be a big challenge. So that's something that I've been really working through, but I also know when it comes to me, you know, when there's something that I really want to do, something that I really want to go for, it, you know, it takes making this major commitment and takes, you know, it's kind of that whole thing of, of really, you know, putting where your money where your mouth is and, and really taking that step to make that happen. So I actually just signed up to do this program. It's like a, a coaching program that walks you towards the TED Talk, which, you know, if we started right away, we'll be starting in the next couple of weeks. That could mean that the, this TED Talk could be happening in December. Of course, there's still the whole application process and there's a lot that needs to happen between now and then, you know, with, with refining my message and, and with really, you know, getting it so um, crystal clear in my mind and my ability to deliver it. But this is something that's really important to me and something that, you know, I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time. And so I was just on the call with a beautiful woman named Jamie and she was, you know, kind of walking me through the process and talking about it. And, you know, it's so interesting, this often happens to us when we get really close to something that we desire, all of a sudden, all of our subconscious fears kick in. And it's like, you know, this, it's like we, we slam on the brakes and we get terrified and we, you know, start questioning everything. And well, it's, you know, what happened with me is I felt like I wanted to to throw up, right? <laughs> like it just, the, the fear of this, especially with me, if you know me, you know, even just doing lives years ago um, would have been a terrifying prospect for me. I have done public speaking throughout my life, but, you know, I've never felt like I've been all of that good at it. But, you know, just actually speaking, speaking my message, speaking my opinion has been a challenge for me throughout my whole life because of all sorts of things, uh, fear, fear of being judged, fear of being shamed, you know, experiences of, of bullying throughout my, my younger years. So it's something that, you know, I really had to work through, but you know, I think that it's so cool. Hey, how's it going? Whoever's watching. Thanks for being here. Um, I think it's so cool when you actually go through the process and you let yourself feel that fear and you let yourself take those steps because as soon as you do, you're met with this immense sense of purpose and this immense sense of connection to what it is that you're here for. You know, I was talking with a friend earlier today talking about, you know, there were periods of my life where I wasn't living my purpose, you know, periods where things came up and I put my purpose my truth on the back burner, you know, and often it was because I was in a relationship that, you know, there was a lot of drama or there was a lot of, you know, push and pull and a lot of things that were really distracting me from my mission and, and my career and my, my goals in life. So I put a lot of that on the back burner. And, you know, when I did that, those periods of my life where I really stopped focusing on the things that I was here for, you know, I ended up experiencing incredible amounts of depression, right? Because I wasn't living my purpose. I wasn't doing what I was here for. 
And, you know, I think that we can so often get ourselves into that state where we just, we put things on the back burner out of, you know, uh, I guess lack of clarity and, and our own purpose or our own worth, you know, we can often forget how important we are and, and how important our purpose is, right? So we can, you know, kind of deprioritize it to the the needs of other people. And, and so that's something that I have done in different periods of my life. But, you know, even just in talking to a friend today, it helped me realize that these moments when I'm doing what I love, these moments when I'm sharing my message or when I'm helping someone or when I'm really connecting with someone, it brings me such an immense sense of purpose and joy that it's what keeps me going. You know, if, if even just someone is watching my videos, I mean, if I don't even know um, if it's connecting with someone, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that I actually have the ability to share something that might inspire someone, it might help them make a different choice in their day, it might help them take some steps that they might not have taken otherwise. I mean, that's really what I'm here for is to really help show what it can be like to go through, you know, my, my personal story, you know, I, I struggled for years. I, I really, you know, I dealt with a lot of issues. Hey, Brianna, how's it going? A lot of issues. Hey, Cassandra, a lot of issues of really low self-worth and, and not really valuing myself. And I, I struggled with that for years and it came out in all sorts of different ways, but it ended up really being that I wasn't making very healthy choices for myself. And, you know, it's interesting what can happen is we can get ourselves set down a path where, you know, one choice leads into another choice. And then all of a sudden we feel like our lives are a mess. And that's how I felt for a really, really long time. But the beautiful thing is, and, and this is an example today of, you know, that those moments where we make a different choice for ourselves, the moments where we say enough is enough, and we say, you know, I, I know that I deserve better in my life and I know that I am here for a bigger purpose. And we actually make that commitment for ourselves. We, we take that step and we take that brave step, even though we're terrified, even though we might feel like we're going to throw up, you know, the thought of doing this scary thing like this, this TED talk, you know, this commitment that I've just made. I, you know, like I said, I, there's still the whole application process. It's not like it's something that is a guarantee, although it is a path that I've just chosen to step on. And, and so this could be something that could be happening in 2020, um, me being on a stage, sharing my message on a TED Talk stage, which then would, obviously it goes on their, their YouTube and, you know, like the thought of that, the, the thought of, of that many people seeing my message is terrifying, but at the same time, it's something that I'm committed to because I really, really want to continue to share and continue to, you know, help people with my message. And so the whole process between now and then is going to be really getting so clear on my message. So you'll probably be hearing me talk more and more about, you know, what it is that I believe to be true in, in terms of how we heal, in terms of how we heal from the inside out, in terms of, you know, how we can take our lives and we can improve our lives by really looking at the trauma, by really looking at, you know, the deep wounds that we've all experienced and that, you know, so often we stuff, we try to ignore, we, we don't allow ourselves to heal through, we don't allow ourselves to, to mourn if we've gone through a loss. You know, we just try so hard to just plod along and, and live our lives, but, you know, never truly allowing ourselves to fully live, never tr uh, truly allowing ourselves to fully be happy. And so this is, I guess, the, the message that I wanted to share today is, you know, for you to really connect to what it is that you truly, truly want for yourself, that really big, scary thing that you've been, you know, maybe putting on the back burner or you've been denying yourself the reality of actually fulfilling one day. So what is that thing for you? What is it that you really, really want to do? And, you know, what is it going to take to get you there? You know, do you need help? Do you need support? Do you need someone to give you a push? Do you need someone to show you the way? You know, do you need someone to help support you in the moments where things are going to get a little bit scary or they're going to get a little bit stressful and you might shy away from it. You might turn your back on it again. You know, so it's just, are you ready to make that commitment? Are you ready to take that risk 
and to start showing up for yourself. So that's what I'm here for, more and more <laughs> showing up. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to show up every day and I'm going to show up for the people that need my help. You know, I'm here for you. So you can reach out, you can book a call for me. I have the link for you to book in and chat with me, um, especially if you are feeling really inspired by this. You know, I'm, I've shared earlier that I am going to be, I, I have made the commitment to the process of, of doing a TED Talk for 2020. It's happening and I'm just going through the process right now. So I'm excited to share that. I'm terrified to share it, but you know, just telling all of you now, I can't turn back, right? <laughs> so that's the other good thing about it is saying it out loud. You know, the thing that you really, really wanna do, the thing that you're dreaming of, sometimes that's gonna be the thing that you're afraid to say out loud. And it might even feel like weird or, or strange, you know, until you actually say it out loud. But the beautiful thing is, is when you finally do say it out loud and you say it to someone, you know, that you trust or, or someone that, you know, it connects with with what it is that you're saying it's such a beautiful feeling to have that that affirmation you know that that yes I can absolutely see you doing this and I know you can do it and I believe in you and it's gonna happen so anyways um, I just wanted to give you an update I will be sharing about this along the journey of course this is going to be a process it's not something that's gonna happen overnight but oh my goodness <laughs> I just took that step. It's like a leap, right? You know, taking that, that step where you don't know what's going to happen, you know, a few steps down the road. It's just having that faith and having that trust that you are supported, that your vision, your purpose is supported and that you are here for a reason. So I'm talking to you out there, but I'm also talking to myself and, and just reminding all of us that, you know, I, I posted today, you know, I shared a post, a quote from a really beautiful healer. His name is Mastin Kip. And, and the quote was that we are, how did it, what was the quote now? I'm going to forget it. Now that I'm putting myself on the spot, we, <laughs> something about healing from trauma. This is going to bug me now. I'm going to open it up on my laptop so that I can actually share you the quote. This is funny. It was a really good one. And now I can't think of what it was. Just bear with me for a quick minute. <laughs> okay. I never would have remembered this on my own. Okay. You heal when you turn trauma into purpose. So I posted that earlier today and I really connected with it because so much of my work is really, I mean, it's the comeback queen. It's really about helping women turn things around in their lives and really take these traumatic experiences, these painful transitions that they've been through in their life and turn that into their comeback. And so, you know, one of the things that's so beautiful that, that comes through that is that the women that I work with get connected to their purpose. So it's one way that we can heal. And I think it's a beautiful way that we can heal because we can take everything that we've been through. We can take all aspects of the pain we've experienced, the ways that, you know, we've been hurt, the ways that we felt abandoned, the loss, the grief, you know, the agony, the um, feeling of being suppressed or feelings of being not listened to. And we can turn all of that into something incredibly beautiful, which is our purpose. And through that whole process, we are healing ourselves as well. And so this has been my story, this has been my path, and I know that it's been the path for so many other people, so many other beautiful people out there that, I, that you're, you know, maybe watching right now. So anyways, I just wanted to send my love and, and share this message and, and hope that it connects with you out there. Hey, Vanessa, how's it going? I'm just about to jump off. So um, anyways, lots of love to everyone out there. Don't forget to take those steps, do those things that, you know, terrify you, um, you know, take one step each day towards those things because, you know, really that's how you feel truly alive. So again, if you're wanting to take those steps and you're wanting support in that, click the link above, send out, um, a appointment request so that we can connect together and we can chat. It's a free chat and I can help support you in your steps towards 
making your leap towards the thing that that scares you or terrifies you but you've been really dreaming of doing so i'm here for you in that and i am sending you lots and lots of love and can't wait to chat with you okay bye